Here we have a 2012 Lexus IS250. And this one comes in the beautiful Matador Red Mica on E-Crew perforated leather interior. And the powertrain consists of a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine made into a six speed automatic transmission. Just love that color. Let's get to the front end there. We have our daytime running lights, and then we have our high intensity discharge headlamps, and then our fog lights there. And then down here we have 18 inch chrome aluminum wheels. We have passive keyless entry, automatic, Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. And there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. And I have the seat in front just for someone of my size. So there's your look at the leg room there. So not a lot of it. But we do have rear AC vents. And there's a look at the front there. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Pretty decent sized trunk space there. And there's a look at the back end. And here's our power front passenger seat, with power lumbar. And now we're just gonna take a quick look under the hood. And there's that 2.5 liter V6, mostly covered up. Go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. And then over to our infotainment system, we have a navigation screen here. And there's our backup camera. We can pull up our climate controls. We get dual zone automatic climate controls. There's our CD drive there. But we also have Bluetooth, including Bluetooth audio. And then we get AM, FM, and satellite radio. And if you want to, you can have an aux and a USB input too. Then down there we have a ashtray cigarette lighter. Then we have three stage heating cooled seats for the driver and front passenger. And then for our shifter, we just pull down here, reverse, neutral, drive, and then we can manually shift here or using the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Cup holder there. Nice 
center console cubby space. And then we have a power sunroof, which we can either slide or tilt. And we can one touch open that. And let's look at our back seat from up here. We do get curtain airbags. And there's our glove compartment with owner's manuals. Now over here, we can adjust our track list or radio station favorites or our volume. And then by hitting this mode button, we can go between FM, AM, and Bluetooth. And then we have Bluetooth controls here for phone. And then we can toggle our center stack here on the gauge cluster. Which I actually like, it's pretty simple, but has everything you need. And then we have our cruise controls here. So we turn it on there. We can set it, adjust the speed there, and we can cancel there by just pulling up and then turn it off. And there's our push button start. And finally, here's our key fob. But next we're gonna go ahead and take this 2012 IS250 out on the road for a quick test drive. So I like how easy this IS-250 is to drive. It's really simple steering dynamics, gas pedal, brake pedal, just really easy to control. It is pretty windy today, but I think that my upper right side there is having just a little bit of noise. But the ride is pretty comfortable coming down the interstate. I wouldn't necessarily say it's smooth, but the seats help. And you can just feel the road, it's not necessarily bumpy. But what's really nice is just the sound from the powertrain itself is almost non-existent. And I will say, being as tall as I am at 6'3", 
The overall outlook is not the best when I'm driving. I feel like I can, well, I feel like half my view is taken up by the roof line there. But all in all, pretty good driving car other than from that standpoint. Visibility in itself is good for the vehicle. And ride quality is good. And another thing to consider too is this is a 10 year old car. And it's only got about 57, 58,000 miles on it, but still drives really well for it to be that old. And I like the paddle shifters. Just how they actually go with you. It doesn't downshift by itself. You have to get it out of the sport mode. And then you can still manually shift in just your regular drive if you want to downshift. But my favorite thing about this car has to be the color combination, having the matador red and this light tan interior, almost white. Just really, really beautiful color combo there. With this being a Lexus, probably the best thing in terms of in terms of overall resale value is going to be how long these things last. So if you want to put 200,000 miles on this, you'll probably still be able to get some money out of it after you're done with it. You just might have to redo the perforated leather because these are known for getting huge rips and tears in them. But this brings me to the end of my review of the 2012 Lexus IS250.